Welcome. Today I'd love to share with you the idea of using topics in your spread shop to organize your designs into marketable groups to increase sales and enhance the spread shop experience for your customers. You're going to love this. It's so simple to do and it adds so much value to your merch store. Even though topics are available for everyone, they may not necessarily be for everyone. Topics are designed for the entrepreneurial shop owner who wants to better organize their shop into marketable groups of designs based on their business goals. Say you are a YouTuber or a social media influencer with just three to five designs. You're less likely to require a flexible organization of your shop. But those who really want to give their shop an organized e-commerce overhaul, topics are a great solution for you. Once you create topics, they will show up as a menu option next to the phone cases in your navigation. Clicking on topics will lead you to a dedicated landing page showing all the topics available in your shop. We recommend you have at least 12 designs in your shop to create useful topics. To utilize topics, you need a minimum of four designs per topic and at least three topics. Let's take a look at how to implement topics in your spread shop. Start in the shop admin area of your partner area. Navigate to page settings and you'll see this option for topics. And here is where you'll need to turn on that entrepreneurial mind of yours. So how do you get started thinking about the best way to group your designs? We recommend looking for marketable connections. Maybe some of your designs are of like themes, like dogs and cats, for instance. Or maybe there are different genres or styles of your designs, like some are cartoony and some are text-based, more typographical. Or maybe your designs are leveraging the marketing power of the holidays and you wish to turn on and off groups of designs related to Christmas, then turn on for summer and Mother's Day, for instance. Or maybe you just want to utilize the retail power of grouping your designs by best sellers or newest releases. Whatever it may be, give it some thought and make sure the topics you pick are right for your audience and make sense for someone browsing your spread shop or a list of topics. Topics will help you better organize your storefront and hopefully lead to more sales and money in your pocket. Let's say for this demonstration, I'm grouping this shop's designs into a topic about animals, a topic about food, a topic about funny cartoon designs, and maybe a seasonal topic for the Christmas designs. We will need to create a new topic for each of these groupings. Click here on Create New Topic, and let's name our first topic Animals. Keep the topic name short and meaningful. We recommend you limit yourself to 36 characters, the shorter the better, to get your point across on mobile and desktop applications. Also, for international shop owners, these names are not translated, so keep that in mind when picking a name as well. Now you'll see on the right, where there is usually a shop preview, there's now an area where you can select the designs you wish to belong to this topic. You can also search designs, if you have a lot of designs, to make your topic creation process a bit smoother. Let's select the designs we want. You will also notice a radio button that says, Most Recent Save Listed First. If this is checked off, it means the topic that is saved most recently will appear at the top of your topics landing page in your shop. This does not reference the order of the designs within the topic. That order is defined elsewhere, as we will see in a bit, but rather this button determines the order of the topics listed on the topics landing page in your spread shop. Before clicking on Apply Changes and saving this topic to your shop, I'd like to call your attention to two other items on this page. First is the Online Radio button. This toggles the topic's visibility in your shop, but does not delete this topic. For instance, if you have a Christmas-specific topic that you wish to promote around the holidays, you build a topic of your Christmas designs, but you can toggle that topic offline when it's not Christmas and then simply toggle it back on next year for a similar holiday campaign. This online radio button essentially allows you to hide a topic until you wish to turn it on again. The delete button is a different story. This permanently deletes the topic. 
It will not delete the designs within the topic. Those will still be available to you from the Designs tab of the Partner Area. But rather, it will delete this topic from your list of topics. The system will always confirm your desire to delete, so no need to worry about mistakenly deleting something you wish to keep. Okay, with that understanding under our belts, let's finish creating this animals topic by clicking on Apply Changes. Now let's quickly continue this process, creating a topic for food, funny cartoons, and Christmas, remembering to name each topic something concise and include at least four designs per topic. Okay, that was easy. Now from the Topics admin page, we can see all the topics listed by name and their design count. On the right, now we see a shop preview. You'll see displayed the first four designs of each topic with the option to dig in deeper to see all the designs related to that topic. Digging deeper, we see that each topic page has a unique URL which is handy for campaigns and sharing on social media. It makes promoting a specific topic to a specific audience so much easier. There is some more functionality on this page I'd like to point out as well. If you wish to edit a topic, say you want to add designs to the grouping or toggle it to offline, simply click on the pencil edit icon corresponding to that topic. Let's do that now. Let's take the Christmas topic we created offline. Maybe strategically it's summer and we'll bring it back online in October or November when the designs will be more appropriate for that season. Also on the topic admins page, if you wish to reorder how these topics appear listed on your topics page in your shop, simply drag and drop them within this list. Now, as I mentioned earlier, reordering designs within each topic is easy as well. Reordering designs is still done under page settings, then product list page, and clicking on arrange items, and then determine order of your designs. Any changes you make here with respect to the order of your designs, simply drag and drop them again, will be reflected within whichever topics this design is assigned to. Because remember, on the landing page in your spread shop, the top four designs are displayed first. But it's important to remember, reordering your designs is for every view of your spread shop, the list page and the topic page alike. So the changes are global. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Now that you know how to implement topics and some of the best practices on using topics to your advantage, you can get a leg up on the competition and better market your spread shop. The success is yours for the taking. Happy selling.